So the interviewer asked you to call a particular get API and you did that using the solution that is in front of our screens. Now the interviewer looks at the solution and tells you, can you do this using async await? Let us understand how to do that in under 30 seconds. So the very first thing that we'll do is remove the dot then calls. Okay, now we'll wrap this entire fetch call inside a function. Let's call it get post. Okay, now we want to make this function asynchronous, right? The way we do that is by using the async keyword in front of the function name. Okay, now remember one thing, fetch will go and get a result from an external source, which is in this case, the JSON placeholder API. Now this will take some time, right? So we want to wait on that. The way we do that is using await. Okay, so await basically pauses the function until fetch will return a response. Okay, now we'll take this value after we get it and assign it to a variable. Let's call it as res res. Okay, now if you remember in fetch, what had we done? We get the result, right? But we have to parse it in a useful result, which was JSON, right? So we'll do the same thing over here. We'll take res and we'll use the dot JSON function. Okay, now again, this also might take some time. So we have to await on this too. Okay, and after we do that, we'll assign it to a variable and let's just log that variable. And as you can see, I'm, using, I'm accessing the title property just like I had done in the previous video. And now uh, we finally have to call this as well, right? So let's see this. As you can see, we are getting the result. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more and drop a like if you found this video helpful.